44 years after its existence, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, the NNPC, declared profit after tax of 287 billion naira. It also published an audited financial statement showing that its revenue fell by 19.76% in 2020 to 3.718 trillion naira from 4.634 trillion naira declared in 2019. But well, we have Mr. Ajia Umar, the Group Executive Director of Finance and Accounts of NNPC, joining us to discuss their financial statements released for the year 2020. Good to have you, Mr. Omar. Good morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. Yeah. So considering the fact that the profit came after 44 years, and in 2020, the pandemic year, when the country was uh, pretty much on lockdown, as, as was the other parts of the world, and oil prices was at its lowest level. A lot of Nigerians would like to know how this profit was achieved in the midst of these challenges. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, uh, indeed. Uh, in the year 2020, the COVID hit the oil industry uh, very badly. Uh, the oil prices collapsed and also there was demand destruction. Uh, however, uh, what was left was for each and every oil company to manage its costs properly. It does there was only survival tool available to us. Uh, so notwithstanding the destruction in demand and price, uh, the group managing director of NNPC uh, led us to a significant financial prudence uh, walkthrough uh, capped with uh, operational efficiency. And the success uh, to this was driven mainly by a number of factors. One, we had to uh, optimize costs uh, in every aspect of the business. Uh, two, we had to renegotiate contracts with contractors to seek discounts uh, because of the uh, business environment climate. And thirdly, we have had to reschedule debt uh, and elongate uh, the tenor uh, such that the cost of funds uh, was minimized. Uh, and again, uh, we had to do away with unviable joint ventures and some we had to liquidate, uh, some we had to simply exit and leave the businesses to the counterparties because those businesses were not bringing value uh, to the group. Uh, and uh, uh, in addition, the, 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 the company embarked on an aggressive automation process. So all our business processes were completely automated such that uh, it is now more or less a paperless organization uh, which uh, is using technology to its maximum. And as such, it also drastically reduced our travel cost and in effect, during the lockdown, uh, while sitting in our offices and sometimes from our homes, we were able to raise a $1 billion uh, loan facility from the global uh, finance market. So this is the uh, benefit uh, that came with COVID, in spite of the fact that uh, COVID uh, killed a lot of uh, people. But it had its own uh, merits. So that's yeah. how we were able to uh, declare uh, that profit, which we believe is modest, uh, going by the size of our assets, 15 trillion, which is equivalent to almost 30 billion dollars, uh, our profitability level should be far higher than that. Well, at least it's a good place to start. Uh, well, there was also a drop in revenue, 19.76%. What happened in that area? Yes, you know, uh, revenue is a function of price and volume. As I told you, in 2020, uh, there was demand destruction and there was also price collapse. And at the same time, even though we were able to produce up to 2.3 million barrels per day, uh, the OPEC had to step in and they cut down our, or curtailed our production to uh, almost 1.4, 1.5 uh, million barrels per day. So, uh, as a consequence of that, uh, uh, the revenue fell. 
All right, in the group uh, financial statements that was released, there was uh, impairment reversal of a sum of 713.4 billion naira in 2020 from a negative figure of 273.6 billion naira. This was based on a review of commercial arrangements which led to recovery of legacy debt. Can you shed more light on, on this? Okay, this has to do with uh, uh, an impaired revenue, uh, I would say, uh, uh, which was actually uh, a claim against the Federation. And uh, this was uh, subjected to uh, forensic audit and uh, subsequently a review by uh, interministerial and agency committee and finally approval of the uh, NEC. Uh, as such, such revenue uh, was now recognized in the 2022, in the 2020 uh, 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 PNL. Uh, but hither to that, by virtue of the International Finance, Financial Reporting Standards uh, Guidelines, we couldn't have recognized that in our books until such uh, 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 monies or, or, or revenues are received uh, within the coffers of the corporation. So that's what gave rise to that uh, right back of 713 billion naira. And uh, there have also been talks uh, that perhaps the NNPC dipped its hands into the Federation account and uh, got money that it has declared as profit. How would you react to that? Uh, that is a false statement. Uh, it is a uh, merely impossible for NMPC to dip its hands into the Federation uh, revenues. Uh, just to give you uh, a summary of the series of layers of control that exists uh, in our agency role of accounting for the Federation revenue. Uh, first of all, there is interagency reconciliations every month as to what revenue accrues to the Federation from the joint venture crude uh, uh, sales. Secondly, we have a resident uh, revenue director from the Office of the Audit Accountant General of the Federation in the NMPC uh, towers who monitors what accrues to the Federation on behalf of the uh, Accountant General. And thirdly, uh, there is the pre-FAC uh, uh, post-mortem meeting at, at which uh, reconciliations are done. And finally, at FAC meeting, uh, where the commissioners of finance of all the 36 states and FCT meet to review contributions from all revenue generating agencies. And uh, uh, the numbers are scrutinized at that place. And finally, there is also the uh, Auditor General of the Federation who annually reviews what has accrued to the Federation and what has been remitted. And if there are any shortfalls, he raises red flag. Uh, of course, the National Assembly also steps in from time to time when the accounts are led to the Public Accounts Committee to review uh, how much each revenue agency, including NPC, has brought into the coffers of government. So with all these layers of uh, controls, it will be impossible for NMPC to dip its hands. NMPC will account for the revenues of the Federation and only deduct what is allowed and what has been appropriated by the National Assembly in relation to cost of bringing the barriers out, uh, as well as uh, cost of other uh, projects that are being done on behalf of the Federation. All right, so earlier you talked about uh, how the corporation was able to cut costs, you know, which is what led to the profits that was declared. What specific steps were taken to achieve this without compromising quality? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, uh, in our business, uh, uh, whilst uh, trying to be profitable, we will not compromise quality and safety. Uh, so what we have done, uh, a number of initiatives led by the group managing director. One is the cost optimization across the group. Uh, secondly is the renegotiation of uh, contracts uh, for discounts, uh, which we got uh, up to 15% in many cases. And then thirdly, we had to do away with businesses that don't bring value to the group. 
And then uh, we automated our business processes that uh, uh, made the corporation today to be more or less like a paperless corporation and has reduced the cost of uh, uh, travels uh, across our SBUs and even globally. As I told you, uh, using the, the uh, technology, uh, we have been able to save a lot of costs and we can meet anybody globally while sitting in our offices. Uh, so that's what has helped us. But in particular, uh, what has also helped us is an enabler that we have uh, a president and his vice who do not interfere with the works and affairs of NMPC. So they have given a free hand to the group managing director to run the corporation as he deems fit and uh, remains accountable to the people of Nigeria and to God Almighty. And uh, it was also observed uh, from the statement that there were no fresh investments that were made in the subsidiary in 2019 and 2020 financial period. What could be responsible for this, considering the fact that more investments in the subsidiary could have guaranteed more profits for the group? Uh, I think the particular reference is really not uh, investments. Uh, a couple of investments have been made uh, in, 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 in certain uh, SBUs, but that is to do that note to the accounts is to do with the share capital of the subsidiaries. We do not increase share capital every year. Uh, uh, it is only when it is necessary or absolutely necessary to recapitalize an SBU that we increase uh, its equity or transfer assets into that uh, company. So uh, the shareholding position of those companies have remained uh, as, as, as they were in both years. And similarly, even the corporation itself, the shareholders of the corporation have never changed the equity of the company since its inception. Uh, today, the NMPC corporation has only an equity of 520 million naira. So that is uh, really uh, the reason why we have to restructure and recapitalize the corporation and ultimately uh, move into an NMPC limited that is fully capitalized and that will be profitable, viable, with the right liquidity uh, to manage its businesses. Well, uh, it's a new dawn. Uh, I think it's safe to say that in the uh, oil and gas industry with the Petroleum Industry Act. And now uh, you have your total assets uh, of NNPC heating 15.83. So what changes do we expect uh, at the NNPC? And uh, how prepared is the NNPC to effectively, effectively take advantage of the PIA now that uh, it's been signed into law? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, essentially, uh, the 15 trillion uh, uh, value of assets in the group uh, will be uh, decided as to what uh, part of those assets will move into the new NMPC Limited once it is incorporated and decision will be made by the two ministers, Minister of Finance and uh, Minister of Petroleum Resources. So, uh, in addition, uh, the JV assets today uh, will be moved into that new entity. So that improves the capitalization level again uh, to such uh, a position that uh, the going concern of that uh, new entity uh, is assured ab initio from start that it is fully capitalized, unlike the corporation that had only 520 million uh, injected by the shareholders uh, in the beginning. So we, we see that uh, uh, with the committee already put in place by Mr. President, uh, the new company will be incorporated in six months, and thereafter, there's a 12 months window in which the implementation will take place, and we will see a new, brand new company that should uh, perform excellently, competitive or comparative to its fares globally. Uh, so that's, that's really uh, the focus, and uh, uh, the committee composition is robust and up uh, with the right quality and caliber to deliver on Mr. President's uh, uh, promise.
All right, Ami Soma, we just have to, because we'd like to know more about the new company you mentioned that we're looking forward to in six months. But we'll just take a short break now. When we come back, we'll conclude this uh, conversation. Uh, we'd like to, uh, I mean, having uh, the NNPC here, and of course the PIA promises a new dawn in the industry. So we'd like to get a little bit uh, clearer picture of how the NNPC could function uh, with the PIA. But that'll be after the break. Just stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching Business Morning on Channel Television. And we're still having, uh, well, the concluding part of our conversation with Mr. Ajay Omar, the Group Executive Director of Finance and Accounts with NNPC. Uh, thank you for sticking around, uh, Mr. Omar. Well, you mentioned uh, the issue of a new company which comes with the PIA, and we're expecting that in about six months. Could you paint the picture to us what this new company, this new NNPC is supposed to look like and what differences is supposed to bring to the industry? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, the new company will be a camera uh, company uh, with limited liability. Uh, and as such, it will be, have its own board and management structure, which will be decided and recommended by the committee appointed by Mr. President. So this company will operate normally like any other camera company, and it is only accountable to its shareholders uh, through dividend declarations. Of course, it will have to pay its uh, uh, taxes and royalties as and when they fall due uh, to the Federation. Uh, that is the, the, the beauty of it, that under camera, uh, there will be no uh, interference uh, from the, uh, any angle in running the affairs of that company. So today we have NMPC as a corporation. The assets and liabilities of this corporation will be uh, sub-segregated and the committee or the two ministers will decide which of the assets and liabilities will move into, the new, new, into this new entity. And then this new entity will still take additional recapitalization through the transfer of JV assets into it. That way, uh, its take up uh, at a, with a sound footing is assured. And therefore, uh, uh, so, uh, its viability is assured. And there's no doubt as to its going concern. So that's how we see the company coming into fruition in the shortest possible time. Uh, and uh, what will happen to the rest of the corporation, uh, the committee and the two ministers uh, will decide. So, so that's, uh, that's really what the picture will. Okay. Uh, and uh, generally now, what changes should Nigerians expect? you know, with the PIA, with uh, the, the new company coming up, and what, what should Nigerians expect? What's the outlook? Today, what will happen is that uh, with the PIA, uh, there will be this new company, NMPC Limited, and there will be two regulators. One regulator for the upstream, which is the commission, and there will be another regulator for midstream and downstream, which is the authority. Now, these will be the regulators of the industry. Well, this NMPC Limited will only operate as a national oil company, uh, responsible uh, for its uh, commercial operations and uh, rendering uh, dividends to the Federation on an annual basis. Uh, as such, uh, its performance will be judged by the Federation uh, based on its uh, dividend uh, declarations to the, to the Nigerian people. But the regulators will regulate the industry, uh, which is a replacement of what we have today as the Department of Petroleum Resources, uh, Petroleum Equalization Fund, and uh, Petroleum Product uh, and Pricing Regulatory Agency. So all those ones will, 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 will go away. Uh, they will be replaced by these two regulators. 
All right. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Aji Omar, the Group Executive Director of Finance and Accounts with NNPC for painting the picture of what we should expect, especially with the PIA, and of course, helping us thank, to understand thank you very much. the facts behind the figures and enjoy the rest of your day.